Hey, today I'll explain and demonstrate my process of creating sketches for future tattoos on 3D models using Procreate. At your request, I have prepared new patterns for hands, legs, and also the whole body. In a word, a major update has been released for 3D models and sketches. Let's go! I have already made a video about 3D models and how to position a sketch on the hand, the link will be somewhere here. In this video, I'll demonstrate a new arm deployment, much more convenient than before. Now let's get down to business. We open our tablet, download updated models for our sketches. The link will be in the description, all models are located on my boost. After downloading the archive that contains the boost, open each model and add it to your Procreate application for further use. We have many models, so I recommend creating separate folders for hands, legs, torso, chest and back. This is necessary for a more comfortable work experience. After adding all the models to Procreate, we open any of them and it appears grey, and when opening the 2D layer, nothing is displayed. To resolve this, go back to the 3D layer and fill the entire model with a solid color. By the way, all the body shades that I personally use are also available for you in the model archive. Now let's create a sketch project together. With the new layout, it will be much easier to do, as the new hands have one seam that passes through the dead zone of the hand. Easier to assemble project with sleeves, fewer joints, picture deformations while working. Open the folder with your hands. Here we have all the hands that I have prepared in terms of deployments. Here there are both whole left and right hands with a new layout that passes in the dead zone. Now I'll show you where it is located. It turns out from the back of the triceps and goes down to the wrist. Just the dead zone which we always have leans against her body as such, no one really considers it, so it's very easy to hide our connections of the sketch and pictures in this seam. There are also half hands here, I also added an exit to the brush. Maybe someone will find it useful. Now as an example, I will roughly show it. I sketched one option, such an option roughly speaking. Going to the brush has a place to be, maybe someone can do it differently. In any case, do it differently, more interesting. The main thing is that now there's an opportunity. There are regular brushes where you can roll your fingers, make venting, make rings, and more. Anyways, have a great time. Now, let's go through the sketches by hand. I've already put together a small composition here. She appears as depicted in these images. In this case, I simply place pictures on a two-dimensional layer. While working, our main focus will be on the preview. The pictures have not been merged into a single layer. So at this moment, we will be working on it. So we simply insert pictures, envision the desired outcome, and then we commence the process from that point onward. I want the idea of Inayanya to be preserved in this composition. That is, I explain, here I have a face on the shoulder and a face, well, an animated object is on my forearm, then on my biceps there is a coliseum, and on the outer part of my forearm there is also, roughly speaking, some kind of architecture. If you use your imagination, they balance each other like yin and yang and like the percent sign. I don't know which one is more convenient for whom. Now I want us to have an amphitheater or something with columns in the foreground. We enter the folder and I do all this. I remove the folder to make it more convenient and I should have these columns in the foreground. I take it, reduce the transparency, and remove it a little along this column. This way, I will have such a visual deception as if the column is in front of me and he is peeking out from behind it. Let's see the preview, it seems more or less normal, you can even tidy it up a little more. Now I want this column to be hidden behind the beard. This is our Ares, the god of war. I desire our building to conceal itself behind Ares, behind his facial hair. It transpires, I seize and deactivate her transparency. I additionally select this layer and erase it slightly. In principle, she already fits well and seamlessly under his chin. Now, to remove this little space that we have formed, I will take a tool finger and slightly increase the brush size. And I will do a little shading from his beard so that all this thing will come together for us. In principle, it looks more or less, but we will still work with layers now, make one cool thing and everything will smooth out for us but that is later. Now we take the Colosseum and behind the Colosseum I create a new layer, empty. I take with a pipette. The pipette works, I clamp any finger on the color I need and it is red and glued by me. 
adds it to the palette. I do such a shading technique, then I merge the layers, merging the layers simply by folding them with two fingers, once again with a finger, I perform this action with a finger, I shade it in such a way that we have it as one background. At this moment, we are currently analyzing the preview. In broad terms, our crest and its helmet are in the process of merging together. Here, it is not readable because it is dark here, it is dark here, the comb itself is dark, so we need show some ingenuity and slightly differentiate it. I take a layer for and behind the helmet and behind the warrior. So I make the color adjustment to gray, navigate to this overlay mode to incorporate, and this is how I obtain it in this particular manner. I enhance the lighting in the correct areas. Although it may initially look a bit rough, we will proceed by applying Gaussian Blur, which will ultimately give us this beautiful glowing effect that we desire. We are in the process of making a preview, you can even blur it a little bit more. Preview again, everything, apply. All individuals, at this moment he stands out among us. Naturally, it is not perfect, there is still something to work on, so we will personally go to the Colosseum ourselves, and I will slightly highlight it in curves and bends. All things seem to be accounted for, but I will add another instance of exposure in this particular area, once again, for further confirmation. We possess an add mode, once more blurring with Gaussian. Every single thing is clarified, explained and made clear. Now I am satisfied. Now let us look at the preview. Our helmet stood out completely. All content is readable, everything is in fine condition. Now you have the option to switch back to ARS and he still has this. Pull out the background completely. A small quantity combined with a touch of the Colosseum. There is nothing to worry about. We will remove the unnecessary elements using just an eraser. I carefully erase along the contour, and that's when the magic begins. I take the image and set the overlay mode for all the desired images, giving them the appearance of ready-made tattoos. At this point, everything looks normal, so we can proceed to turn off the 2D mode and finalize the design. Now with the 2D mode turned off, the design is complete and ready for the next step. Take a look at the layer and observe how it looks overall in order to assess its appearance. In this case, we have a small flaw. By the way, in this model, I intentionally left room for adding my logo to the sketch as it holds importance to me. That is, on this heel, which we obtain on the cross section of the hand, you have the ability to position your label or your sign or simply a signature. Well, at least that's how it will be branded. Now we have departed from seams, or rather not seams, but these joints here in this particular area. They are easy to clean, or rather they are easy to remove. Again, we switch to the 2D layer. Now we gather all of our objects and place them into a single layer. Collected. Please turn off the 2D layer. Change to finger mode. In finger mode, we adjust the brush to be slightly smaller for more precise control. I utilize a regular brush. You have the option to utilize a softer one, however I prefer this one. I am simply teasing our font. The sketch will be executed in the style of Grisail, thus ensuring a realistic and monochromatic aesthetic. I attempt to attain such an outcome in the layout, which is more akin to the appearance of gravestones in actuality. All these joints of ours are being undermined, naturally, this is, roughly speaking, a sketch, because in real life of course the client will have a different hand size, everything will be completely different. This is simply a layout that displays a general vision of how a specific composition should look in order to provide an overall idea. Now we take the share mp4 and 4K resolution, everything. The sketch is ready, of course, you can still work on it, but as an example, I think it's enough, by the way. If, for example, we were lightening it up, added a layer, took a gray one and applied it on top, selected the blending mode add, this is our lightning, but it's rough, so I recommend blurring it with Gaussian Blur for a smoother effect. But then, of course, the layers can be combined. If we need to shade, then we will utilize a whiter mode of multiplication overlay. In multiplication mode, brighter for us, darker for us, more shadows will be imposed on us. And we also blur them by applying a Gaussian regime. All things considered, the sketch is now ready. Here we have prepared a sketch. This project, which we are currently preparing with you, will serve as additional material for this video on Boosty. Separately from all models, also, all models will be on Boosty in one archive, find them there. Share this useful video with friends. Simplify life, simplify lives of clients so that they are delighted with good sketches. Goodbye.